All right, let's do the audio test. How do I sound, my friends? Hello, happy Sunday. We're gonna get started in just a sec. We just wanna test the audio. Alrighty, I just need to change the camera to this one, and I did it. Uh-oh, the camera's all moosed. There we go. There we go. Hello, everybody. Where's the camera? That's the microphone. That's the camera. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. 
I woke up kind of late today. Uh, so I chugged a coffee, and then I'll probably kick in in about mm, now. So, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Today we are going to be crocheting a pumpkin cat. Now, this pattern is not originally designed by me. It's designed by another Amy Groomy artist that goes by Anya Zoe. You can find her stuff in the description below. She makes a lot of really cute things. Uh, and this was a collaboration that we did like a year or two ago. I'm not sure. Um, but I loved it. And so we're going to be crocheting it today because I haven't made it in a long time. Here's what you're going to need for this pattern. Uh, you're going to need the following materials. I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. I'm using the colors orange, brown, beige, black, and just a little itty bit of pink. Uh, you really don't need very much beige either. Um, or brown, actually. You just need a little bit of all three of these. These are the main ones. You'll also need a pipe cleaner. That's for the tail, so you can make the tail like wavy or whatever you want. Um, you'll need a darning needle. I like using a crimped end darning needle like that. Um, you'll need a crochet hook. I'm using a size G, four millimeter crochet hook because I'm using worsted weight yarn. You don't need to use worsted weight yarn. You can use bigger yarn if you'd like to. Uh, and of course you'll need a pair of scissors, some stuffing, and then some eyes. And now this is where I need your guys' advice. So we are going to be using these special eyes that I got from Glass Eyes Online. I got these like a long time ago. And there's a bunch of different colors here, so I need your help deciding a color. So let's just pull some of these out. Let's just pour them all out. And I'll move them to a jar or something. So I need your help deciding which color. So we can choose between, let's see, we got purple. We got a blue here. Um, white eyes, that's kind of cool. We got pink eyes. Uh, these ones are nice and green. I, I like the green ones. They remind me of Jimbo's eyes. Um, that's my cat, if you didn't know. We got orange. Orange is kind of good, too, you know, because the body's orange. I don't know, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. While you guys are grabbing all your materials and letting me know... Oh, I like that idea, Mel Bell. One of each. I like that. Um, while you guys are helping me decide what color and everything like that, let's talk about how you can support the channel. A lot of blue. People are commenting blue a lot. Okay, so if, you, um, if you'd like to help support this channel and the things that I do, uh, there's a few ways you can do that. The first and best way you could do it is by becoming a Club Crochet member. Members get... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull that camera down just a little bit. <clears throat> members get early access to future patterns, exclusive access to a bunch of different kinds of uh, patterns. We have a bunch of Halloween patterns available, a bunch of ghost patterns, everything like that. Members get access to all the patterns on the website and early access to future patterns. For example, this month's pattern, whoop, we are making a bat that uh, you can actually fold the arms in. So this is a, uh, oh my God, Kim, You before I even mention that option, okay, I'm gonna mention Kim's super chat in just a second too. Uh, you can fold the arms in, and he's also got a little magnets in his butt. So members get access to patterns just like this, and they get kits mailed to their door. So this month's kit was for two of these little bats. I actually have overstock available for these kits, so another way you can help support this channel is by purchasing merch and kits in the shop. So I have kits for this little bat. If you buy one of these bat kits right now, um, I have my brother helps me make the kits, and so he's making a, a few extras because we we I made extras when I made the the monthly kit, but it seemed like people really liked them, so I made a few more. Um, if you purchase it now, you'll have it in time for the live stream at the end of the month. Uh, it'll be the um, the last Sunday of of the month. So I think that's like the 25th. Um, so if you want to purchase a kit right now for a hanging bat, uh, it comes with the pattern and the kit, and it comes with all the materials, including uh, magnets, two types of yarn, so you can make two different kinds of bats. Um, yeah, so I have kits available in the shop for hanging bats. We got uh, a bunch of ghost kits still available. Uh, but yeah, I made sure that if you purchase it right now, they get shipped right away. So that way you get it in time to make it for Halloween. Um, so, okay, I'm kind of off the rails here. Let's see. So the best ways to, to help support this channel are with a membership. 
Uh, membership start only five dollars a month. You can even get a free trial if you want to just try it out and see all the patterns that are available. Um, yeah. Another way you can help support the channel is by purchasing kits and merch. We also have stickers available for purchase. Uh, this one's my favorite. It's a little orc crocheting a goblin with a troll looking behind him. Uh, and then there's this professional hooker sticker. Anyone can be a hooker sticker. These are only like three bucks, so it's a great way to support the channel. And then the last way to support the channel is what Kim did, uh, which is to super chat. Thank you so much, Kim. Oh my God, that you're so fast. Uh, if you super chat, now, I haven't fixed it yet, but normally your message comes up on screen. I'm going to change it so that your message comes up right there. See how there's a little empty spot? I made that so that their super chat would go there. Uh, but I didn't get it set up right. So, anyhow, you can see it in the chat. Uh, and thank you so much, Kim. You can super chat for any amount of money. Your message gets on the chat there. I see it. And then I do a little dance with one of, the, one of these little characters. In this case... We're gonna do a witch dance. Boo, da, boo, da, boo, da. Thank you, Kim. All right, <laughs> that's 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 the dance I got for you, Kim. Can you tell I run? I'm running out of little dances to do with uh, characters when there's no arms. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. Well, I'll talk about this as a crochet. Okay, so I think a lot of people said blue for the eyes, and I saw someone ask if there was an alternative for the eyes, and yes, I think your best alternative is to use um, slightly lar or like, uh, if you use black eyes, and you can paint them using, oh my gosh. Dude, what? Bag a day crochet, are you serious? Holy moly. Okay, well, I haven't even started crocheting yet. <laughs> oh my god. I just got a $50 donation from Bag of Day Crochet because she is amazing. Oh my gosh. You're incredible. Thank you so much. I uh I'm speechless. That's that's incredible. Thank you. Um what I yeah, I'm going to do a little dance with um Let's see, we got, let's do, I mean, you're going to get, oh, da, 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 da. you get the whole, like, group of dancing, but, oh my gosh, dude, thank you so much, that was really cool, wow, that, that is amazing, <laughs> what a way to start, all right, well, if anybody could beat Bag of Day Crochet, <laughs> that was incredible, thank you so much, dude, um, you're going to get an actual dance. This is my wiggle dance of like, oh my God, I don't even know what to do. That was so cool. Okay, anyhow, what I was saying about the eyes <laughs> before I was so rudely interrupted <laughs> is that uh, if you want, you can actually paint your eyes. Uh, so if you get some like regular size eyes, um, you can paint them using, uh, I like using just white out to like make it all white. And then you can paint them with a, with a, uh, with a sharpie to make the iris of the eye, like the, the cat eye kind of look. Um, I can't stop thinking about how much that was for bag from Bag of Day Crochet. That was so cool. I appreciate you so much. You rock. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, wow. You threw me off, dude. <laughs> that was so cool. Uh, okay, so we're making, uh, let's see. I saw a lot of people saying blue eyes. So I'm thinking blue would be kind of fun. Let's do this turquoisey blue, though, because that's so unique. Look at those eyes. And actually, I think for the first time ever, I have the color correct. That is actually what the color looks like. Um, oh, and if you want to get the pattern, the pattern is completely free. You can find it by just going to uh, clubcrochet.com slash pumpkincat. You can see the... Uh, the link in the sidebar there, um, right on the side, right in the bottom right corner right there. I'm going to put these eyes away and then get, let's get hooking. Cause we got, it's, it's a little bit of a long pattern. I mean, it's not that bad. I'll complain about the backs of these eyes in just a second. Or I'll complain about them when I start adding them to the face. I hate these plastic eyes, the plastic, uh, backs, the hard plastic. It hurts. It hurts your hands. It hurts your hands so bad. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. You wanted different color eyes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right. Let's do one red, one turquoise like that, maybe? Or one... Um, let's try the pink. Let's see how the pink looks. One pink, one turquoise. I like that. That's great. Okay, let's put these guys. I need to save these for dragons. I'm gonna start making dragons soon because that the wing pattern is so cool for the hanging bats. Okay. All right, we're gonna put this all to the side. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna start by making the ears. If you uh, wanna crochet along with me. Um, yeah, this pattern just has like a lot of different parts that are sewn together. So you just kind of gotta like make a bunch of different things. So let's just get hooking and we'll talk while we're while we're cruising here. Um, yeah, how was your guys week? Oh, okay, is metric has only has yarn, no eyes at all. And you know what? That is totally fine. You can use a bullion knot. Um, if you or or you could try uh, embroidering the eyes either one of those would work if you Want to learn how to do a bullion knot? Hmm. I think I've done some oh Yeah, what what Melbell is saying there a French French knot yeah or embroidering eyes or you could use needle felt But it doesn't seem like you have needle felt. I think for this situation Embroidering eyes might be the best situation because all you have to do is just do like a single line you know, if you just do like a single line, that kind of be cute, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. You do have options, though, for sure. For sure. And everybody's going yes to the dragons, and I totally agree. Um, I've been working. So I have a dragon pattern that I've been testing out. Um, actually, I think someone that's in the chat right now has tested it for me. Uh, I need to test it a little bit more, but... I'm thinking for January, come making that the, the monthly kit and stuff for January. You're not familiar with the word embroider. Embroidering just basically means to sew on. It's like uh, to sew it onto something. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Ugh, I'm still going crazy about that donation. That is so crazy, dude. Ugh, you rock. Oh, you're so cool. Thank you, dude. Um, where am I at? You got lost. Oh, I'm, I'm just making the ears right now. Uh, that's what I'm starting with here. Uh, and, you know, it's kind of a bummer. I tried to make the lighting right so that you could see the stitches because it's black. I don't know if I did too great of a job. Um, yeah, but what Melville's saying, basically, uh, if you just... Embroidering is just sewing on. So if you just take some of the yarn and uh, of the colors that you want and kind of just sew it on to the face, I think you'll be okay there. See, this is how the ears work. They're just kind of like little little triangles that you sew onto the head. Uh, Fantasy Amis and Such asks, uh, how do you change your Club Crochet membership from the payment version to the free account, I will tell you right now, it's actually really easy. If you just log, if you're logged in on clubcrochet.com and you scroll over your my profile name on the right, it'll say upgrade your account. Click that button uh, and it'll take you to a page where you can choose, choose which membership you want. And you can, um, you can choose the free account. It's the far left one. Uh, and then in addition, um, oh, another way you can do that is from your My Profile page. So if you go to My Profile uh, and you go to your settings, you can change your account there. But the easiest way is just by doing it from the home page. Like if you just, it's on the main menu. Uh, Lizzie asks, is the international price different for the pro crits to membership, please? Um, yes, so what she is talking about is there's a brand new option available for pro memberships. I, I added it this week. See, beforehand, uh, bef before last week, I couldn't ship my monthly kits internationally. So it just costed too much for the shipping. 
but I added a, the option in this last week so that people from anywhere outside of the United States can get kits as well. The thing is, it is a little bit more expensive because you're paying for the shipping. So, um, so to answer your question, Lizzie, yes, it's a little bit more expensive. I believe, I believe it's twenty. Like it, it's basically double the cost um, because it costs a lot to ship outside of the United States right now. Um, and that might that might change later on. Like I might make it go up or down based on the. I probably won't make it go higher than that, uh, but. I might make it go down in the future. If you have a pro membership, I might change it. Uh, but yeah, it's it's just basically paying. For, it, that's all it is, is paying for the shipping cost. Um, and it's really easy to sign up. All you have to do is when you're signing up for a pro membership, it'll prompt you to either choose uh, your membership to be um, uh, uh, domestic in the United States or internationally it'll it'll prompt you so you can choose either one all right i think we got both our ears already made nice and quick there the ears are actually pretty easy all you have to do is make basically like little little circles little pyramids i'll go ahead and cut that okay kim says it didn't work on mobile which is a problem i'll work on that uh i've got someone that's been helping me uh work on my website a lot so I will I will reach out to them and see if I can get it fixed on mobile I know that is on the um, on the uh, on the website sorry I got distracted by comments here uh, is metrics says that they're lost how do you make the ears the ears are actually pretty easy all you have to do is do a magic loop and then into the magic loop, you single crochet three, and then you increase, that's for round one. For round two, you increase into each stitch around to get up to six stitches. And then for round three, you do a single crochet and then an increase repeated three times, and that'll bring you up from six stitches to eight stitches. You can find the full pattern by just going to the website, uh, clubcrochet.com slash uh, pumpkin cat and it'll, it should have the written pattern there you might need an account but it's a you just need a free account um okay there was another question but i totally missed it when will other goblinoid edition patterns come out it says coming soon but do you have an idea for when yes i do actually um you can actually try some addition additional patterns out uh in the two three four five sorry i'm making the arms now uh, um, oh, that was the other question. Oh my gosh, there's so many questions. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's let's answer the question that I'm starting with here, which was oh, I'll talk about it more in the in the uh, in the halftime show because I've actually crocheted a couple more uh, patterns, but you can find them in the rough draft. So if you go to the rough drafts on the website, you can find them really easy by just going to clubcrochet.com/roughdrafts. And there's a few new patterns that are added for stitched. They're not directly goblinoid related, but they're very similar. So there's like kobolds, uh, there's um, there's the relic, there's dwarves, stuff like that. Um, and then the other question was, uh, do I ship? Someone asked if I shipped to Israel, and then someone has asked if I shipped to uh, Egypt. And the answer is yes. We can ship to uh, basically anywhere in the world. So. Anywhere that you uh, live, we can now ship pro kits too. So just all you have to do is sign up. And if you go through the sign up method, you'll you'll see how it works. Uh, you just need to choose your choose your country. Yeah, we actually got our first international pro membership sign up like yesterday, and I was so excited. I was like, ah, this is so cool. <laughs> it was really cool. Uh, Leko the Gecko asks, will this pattern be free for the 24 hours or forever? This pattern is free forever, forever, ever. So you can just find it by just going to the URL on the side there and it's going to be free for all times. The arms for this pattern are nice and easy. You just need to do five single crochets into a magic loop 
and then you just do single crochets into each stitch around. This is, I actually have a full video tutorial for this pattern as well, uh, which is free. You can find that just by going to the YouTube channel or going to the URL, obviously. Um, so if you need any extra, very specific help, I have a full video tutorial where I crochet the entire thing and go through it step by step. I wish that you could see the stitches here. I know it's kind of hard to see them. I'm going to add into the screen here a little ghost. Let's, let's start with a little ghastly here. I'll, I'll start adding a new thing every time I finish uh, a body part. So we have two ears finished, so we can add two ghosts. We'll have a full, we'll have a bunch of things on the screen at, by the end. Three. Gosh, yeah, I need to, I need to, I need to be able to see my stitches is what I need to do. One, two, three. I think I'm on my last stitch, two more stitches. I totally agree, Lizzie. This is such a cute pattern. Uh, I remember when she <coughs> reached out and said, hey, I'd like to do a cat stuck in a pumpkin. And I was like, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a great idea. I need to reach out to more people to do pattern collaborations with because I think they're really fun. I end up learning so much every time I do one of these. Um, I'm going to be doing another pattern collaboration with uh, Sir Pearl Gray very soon. We are already started working on it. Um, I'm thinking next month we'll, we'll I'll start releasing the patterns that we've been working on. Uh oh, uh oh, all the fuzz from these yarn. <laughs> Got to my nose. D L H always starts with the head. What are you crazy? You gotta make the eels voice. Oh, we got another arm done. We gotta add another character in here. Let's add. Let's add. We'll add another ghost. Do you like that pop? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Aiden Creations trying to make a little tiny buddy. Yes, me and Sir Pearl Gray have another collaboration coming out soon. I need to reach out to him. We've just both been really busy. He is a teacher, so he just started teaching recently. So I know he's been really busy. But he already sent me the rough drafts, so I just need to buckle down and help out. Two, three, four, five. And you know what it's going to be themed after. You know. Is metric. You can't find the pattern on the website. Um, hmm. If you just go to the website and go to the search bar and search for pumpkin cat, it should come up. The URL is in the description below, too, if you want to just click that. It's a very good pop. Thank you very much, Monty. Monty, I'm so sorry. I know I still have your email and the... <laughs> I. It's just been a very busy week. It's always a busy week, though. I, I got to stop making those kind of complaints and just email you back. So arm number two here. This is the one thing about this pattern that I'm not super into is there are a lot of different parts that you got to sew together, which if you have been a fan of my channel before, you'll know that I'm not a huge fan of sewing things together but you know it's not the worst thing in the world the worst thing in the world is um orange starburst candies Ugh, not for me no way no way the best starbursts are pink everyone knows that it's it's not a matter of debate so don't try to Persuade me in the comments. I'm telling you just flat out Pink starbursts are the best red starbursts come into a close second and then yellow Are there any other colors because All I can think about is orange and orange are garbage <laughs> Starbursts are red fight me you're going down Pico Good luck. 
Good luck with your red starburst energy. Yuck. Weak. Weak. <laughs> wow. Wow, I made some enemies with this red starburst comment. Fantasism such says, uh, does MTG stand for Magic the Gathering? I have a feeling that's what it stands for. You know, I never really played Magic the Gathering. I was a Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh dude when I was a kid. Uh, and I haven't really played, I never, I've actually never played Magic the Gathering. I bet you I would have been really into it if I did play it. And now it's a little too late. A little too late for me to get into it now. I got enough things that I'm interested in. Like Stitched. I played a game of Stitched yesterday with um, my friend Emilio. And I beat him so bad the first game. It was crazy. I beat him so quick. Oh, we got another arm done. Let's see. What are we going to add here? Um, I don't know. A Baby Yoda. Get this fuzz out of here before it makes me sneeze again. Uh, next up, we got legs. 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 Yeah, we'll just we'll go ahead and make all the little body parts first, and then we can. Um... It's funny that the legs are bigger. She makes the legs. The arms are five single crochets around in a circle, whereas the legs are six. Two, three, four, five, six. And it's such a subtle distinction. Man, that super chat is still on screen. You rock so much, dude. That was what a what a beginning. What a start. What a real what a real swell gal. One. Two. Someone said they follow you on YouTube, actually. Um, who the um the super chat. I gotta check you out. Let's see, let's see. Bag a day crochet. Can I go to their channel? No, I can't. Not from, not from my phone. I'll have to do it afterwards. Bag a day crochet. Who has played Unraveled? I've played Unraveled. That's fun. It is a good game. I need to start playing the new um, uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. It's not really that new. It's been out for a little bit now. But Oh, really? Holly, Holly and Creativity. Yes, Bag of Day Crochet just supported for a ridiculous amount of money. Look at that. You can see it on the super chat wherever the super chat is from my camera here. <laughs> I got to reach out. I got to I got to thank her straight up. All right, so we got two rounds of just single crochets here. For little, for our little legs, our little legs. And then now we've got three increases, okay. I haven't crocheted this pattern in so long, so it's it's all new to me. How's the music? Is the music not loud enough? Is it too quiet? All right, and then we just slip stitch it like a dirty, like a dish. Get a big old cut there, and then pull that through. And we got another leg done. What are we gonna add to the screen this time? Oh, I'll tell you. We're gonna add. We're gonna add. The goblin from the from the Lord of the Rings live stream. Oh, that reminds me. We'll do them over here so we can get some symmetry. Um, that reminds me. We have a vote. If you would like to vote on next uh, on our next movie night, the vote is up right now. Uh, if you just go to clubcrochet.com and log in. Here, I'll turn it up just a little bit. There we go. 
Let me know if that's too loud. Um, if you go to the website right now and log in, you can vote on what you want the live, the the movie night to be. <laughs> we'll be doing the movie night the last Friday of the month, the day before Halloween. And your choices are between The Haunted Mansion, uh, the movie The Haunted Mansion with uh, Eddie Murphy, that's the one. Uh, you can choose between that and The Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, or Coco, the movie Coco, or I did put up for the vote the movie Hocus Pocus, which I'm not a fan of Hocus Pocus because it's scary. And, <laughs> and, I'm being 100% sincere when I say that the movie Hocus Pocus scares me. Um, but I put it up for the vote anyhow because you know what? It's not just up to me. This is a community. And you can decide if you wanted it, if you want to see it. Um, so you can vote on the website now. I voted for uh, Nightmare Before Christmas personally. Um, my second vote would be for Coco if I had one. I do like the movie Coco a lot. But I mean, who doesn't like the Nightmare Before Christmas? Come, come on. I'm not sure what we should do next month. We gotta make. I gotta. I gotta think about that. I don't know. See, November is one of those like. There's no real, I mean, there's Thanksgiving, but there's not like really a holiday movie for Thanksgiving. I guess we could do the Charlie Brown pumpkin movie, but that's no fun. So I'm thinking we, we're going to do something completely unrelated to a holiday. We'll do something just, just a good movie. Because I think, because you know what? I think that would be fair fun. <laughs> Pico doesn't like The Nightmare Before Christmas. You know what? That is completely fair. I think one of the reasons why I love The Nightmare Before Christmas is because uh, I'm a really big fan of stop motion animation. Uh, it's a dying art form now with the ability for... Um, uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Computer graphics are just so good that stop motion is kind of becoming obsolete a little bit. But if you have known the history of Louis, Louis Loops in general, you'll know that I started with um, stop motion amigurumi. I called it Yarnimation. So I'm a big fan of that. And yeah. All right, so we got, we got the legs here. Yeah, here. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you. And welcome to the live stream. Okay, so we got another leg done. What are we gonna add to the screen? Let's see, let's see. We're gonna add, we're gonna add, we're gonna add fancy octopus. I'm gonna have a whole party here. I, I zoomed out the camera a little bit, so we have a lot more room for, we have more room for activities. This guy's name, do we remember what this guy's name is? Do you guys remember? I commented it, or I put it, I posted it on Instagram and stuff. His name is, his name is either Toby or Toby Jr. I'm not sure which one he is. We don't know which one's the dad and which one's the kid. All right, so now I'm working on the tail. And the tail is just, oh, I just found a, I just found a typo in the pattern. Uh oh, I'll have to fix that later. This is why I like to crochet my patterns all the time, is because I love finding these typos. Monty, you like the octopus? That octopus is actually in the rough draft patterns right now. Um, that pattern's gonna be coming out, I don't know when, sooner or later. Two, three, how many do I have to do? 10 rounds of this, okay. Oh boy, okay, I gotta buckle down and just do all these rounds. We got one of our 10 rounds done here. 
because the tail is just this really long crocheted piece here. Oh, my foot is asleep. My foot is asleep. Help. Whoa, Kim. What is the typo on the tail? The typo is on the tail in round two to 11, where it says there, it says single crochet in each stitch around. It says six, but really there should be four stitches per round. So that's where the typo is. That's the typo. <laughs> it's close enough to a shark. Oh yeah, I forgot that you really like sharks. You got your shark as your thumbnail, Monty. Monty the shark. So we, sh we should make one day. Okay, so we got two rounds done of our 10. I gotta loosen my crochet a little bit. I'm crocheting a little tighter than I'd like to. Witches are cool to crochet, I agree. I came up with a pretty good witch joke a few years ago. You wanna hear it? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god, my crochet hook stuck. Help, help. That's what I'm saying, I'm crocheting too tightly. I gotta loosen my grip. Uh, my joke is, um, why do witches love candles so much why do witches love candles so much because they're wicked it's, I, it's better spelled out but it's wicked but it's supposed to be like wicked listen I'm funny okay if anybody asks everybody always says they, they, they go Lewis oh my gosh how'd you get into my house get out of here they tell me that all the time. <laughs> uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it is metric. Of course we care. And you know what? Go to bed. Be. Be a good, be a good human. Get some good sleep. How do you become a moderator? Asks the secret life of potato eaters. You know, we have a few rules uh, for that, but the, the basic gist is um, the moderators, I, I, I kind of figured out the moderators early on in the website. Um, they were just big fans of Louis Loops earlier on, and then I reached out to each one of them individually, and. Uh, when we were getting started and yeah i don't think we necessarily really need any right now but i don't know well t well me and the moderators will talk about if we need more uh and i'll do like a little call out if i do greetings from france oh my gosh oh my gosh i love france bonjour bonjour I was watching, a, uh, or I was listening to a song the other day uh, by a band called The Books, uh, and the song is titled um, Fra Light. I don't really know what that means, but in the song, they're singing, it's a woman saying numbers, and she's going, un, deux, trois, and uh, at first I was like, oh, okay, she's so just singing numbers, but then she goes, cat, cinq, no wait, no, cat, set. Uh, uh, tres. And I was like, wait, what? She's saying one, two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen. I was like, what are these numbers? And then I realized they're all prime numbers. <laughs> I, I was proud of myself for knowing uh, all those, all the, all these prime numbers in French. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven down. Seven. <laughs> I just finished Gandalf. Gandalf. Good old Gandalf. 
if you watched the um, the hookup that I came out with the other day, you'll know that the I'm going to be starting to use that color change chart uh, a lot more often in my videos. And I spent um, I spent up or spent last night I was up to like 3 a.m. working on one of the color chart patterns for Frankenstein so that I could try to get it finished in time because this week I want to try to come out with a like don't hold me to this but my goal is for this week to come out with a new video tutorial for how to crochet a zombie using that color chart uh, and I want to come out with that for free and fix up a bunch of old patterns so Okay, so we're on our last round. Um, yeah, so my goal is to come out with a new free video for how to crochet a zombie using that color chart this week. So keep a lookout for that. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, you definitely should. Oh, and if you uh, would like to, please like this video. Um, you can like it down below. It helps other people see it. And uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of cool to see. So if you like the video, Please do so. Please do that. Oh, I like the cat in a box emoji. That's a fun one. <laughs> From Jacqueline. <laughs> you gotta pay attention to the pattern. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's good. We'll just go ahead and slip stitch here. Cut it loose. My nose wants to sneeze really bad. This week I cleaned the dust out of our heater and all week I've been like totally allergy. I've got total allergies because of that. Okay, we need a stick. Just cause I want to. There we go. Our tail is made. Yeah, it'll be like that. I'll put a pipe cleaner in it. So that way we can um we can have it like like wiggly woggly like that. I guess we don't really need a pipe cleaner, huh? But maybe we will, maybe we won't. We'll see what happens. Alright, so we finished the tail. We can add another Amy Gurumi to the screen. Let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. Um Well we did an octopus, let's do a squid. I still need to add this to the rough drafts. I haven't finished uh, adding that one to the rough drafts, but I'm really happy with this squid. Okay, we got next we got the pumpkin stem. That's nice and easy. We just need our brown yarn for that. Oh, okay, we'll do. Type one rows, great suggestion. Great suggestion. We'll even give him this coffee cup. One, two, three. Let me just pull that a little tighter. Is Metric asks about the fur tutorial. You know, I saw the last comment and I, I didn't think about it until now. Uh, the fur tutorial. Yes, I need to make you a fur it. Um, a ferret, I should say. You say fur it, is it because of the Pokemon fur it? I do like that Pokemon. We were, so Jules and I were watching um, this uh, show on, uh, it's on Apple TV. It's called Tiny World, I think. I don't really know. But it's narrated by, um, it's narrated by Paul Rudd. And there was a mongoose in the first episode and it kind of looks like a ferret and Jules was like oh my god this is my favorite animal now and it is a very cute animal very cute very cute just reminds me of a ferret okay so that's that's that for the stem do I have to slip stitch one yes I do and I gotta sew this onto the pumpkin cap okay so we'll just slip stitch here go cut that pull that through and add a new friend to the mix so you want the coffee snob 
And you know what? We need to give the coffee snob his, his coffee. This is, where is his coffee? Here it is. Um, one second, I need to get a needle. I needed a needle so I can attach his coffee. Here we go. This is Sven, the coffee snob. We'll have him in the back right here. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go right here. Sit. Stay. Good. Good boy. <laughs> Sven, the coffee snob, with his little coffee. Gina cheers him. Oh man, Elena, Eliana, sorry, Eliana asks, can you please make a little skeleton or a little, little piece of pumpkin pie? Even a little pumpkin please. And you know what the answer is? Yes, I can do all of those because we have patterns for all three of those things. Oops, I bumped the camera. There we go. Um, I'll bring them onto the screen after the next thing I crochet, which is gonna be the pumpkin cap. And once I finish the pumpkin cap, I think we can safely say we're at the half time. Well, maybe not, maybe a little bit longer. Oh yes, um, Secret Life of Potato Eaters asks, do I know of any uh, stingray patterns. You know, I don't know the direct uh, pattern, but I do know that there is one. Um, I don't know exactly where to find it, but I do know that a crocheter that I am a fan of, uh, her she goes by Steph, Stephanie Glaves, uh, Steffi Glaves on Instagram. Go check her out on Instagram. She crocheted a stingray recently. I don't think it's her pattern. Two, three, four, five. But she did make one, a really tiny stingray, and it looked like a really cool pattern. So that's that's the best way to find it. I, it. That's the quickest way I would be able to find one. Can I turn the music down? Yes, I can. There we go. There we go. All right, so we got five. Uh, okay, and then we just do an increase. Increases, increases, that's all we gotta do. I don't know if it's free. I got no idea if that pattern is free or not. I have not gone to check out the pattern. I just know that she made one. She made it really, really tiny. Ooh, a Chinese dragon would be really cool. That would be very cool. I will think about that. And there is our last increase. Now we finish this up with a slip stitch into the next, like that. We need to cut the yarn. We need to leave enough to sew it onto the head. And now we have another thing there. All right, so this one's for you, Alessia. I think I said that wrong. Let me go grab that uh, skeleton for you. So it's not really a skeleton as much as just a skull. And I got a couple of them, actually. So check this out. Whoa. This might be one of the hardest patterns on the Club Crochet Library, but there is a, a skull pattern on in the library right now. It's very, like, I, it's just a tough one. And I have made it a little itty bitty skull before, so check that out. That's pretty cool, huh? So we'll add this to the background. There we go. Whoop. He's gonna have a hard time sitting. There we go. All right, I'll be right back. Just give me one second.
Okay. Sorry. I wanted to grab this pie, too. So we have a pie pattern and a skull pattern. I think all you have to do is go to clipcrochet.com slash skull or slash pie, uh, and you'll find these patterns there. Or just search them even you're on Clip Crochet. <laughs> Oopsie. Put that behind that guy. Okay. Next up is um, the head. Oh, yeah. Um... Well, all we have is the head and the body left. Let's do, uh, let's actually just do the halftime show while we're at it then. I mean, we've been going for about, let's see how long, about an hour. So yeah, this is probably a good time for a halftime show. So welcome to the halftime show. I usually have a little puppet here. Um, to, to, okay, you know what? We didn't do a puppet last time, so let's do a puppet. I just gotta be like that. I just gotta, oh no, I dropped my water. Oh. Hello. There we go. Hello and welcome to the halftime show. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bluey. I'm your host for the halftime show. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna be talking about a bunch of things uh, that Louie has crocheted this week. He's not down here. Don't worry. I'm not looking at him. Um, oh yeah, okay, so if you want to help support this channel, uh, you know the ways to do it, uh, but the best way right now, <sighs> the best way to support the channel immediately is uh, to um, to do a super chat. Just like, uh, you just need to go to the comments down below, right over there, no, right over there, oh! I just gotta bite the camera, move the camera back like that. There we go. I fixed. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Shut up. Okay. Uh, and yeah. So welcome to the halftime show. I'm not crawling on. Louie's not crawling on the floor. I'm a different person. <sighs> I get no respect. Okay. Louie's coming back now. His arm's tired from doing push-ups. Not holding up a puppet. <clears throat> Who said I was crawling on the floor? I wasn't crawling on the floor. I was doing other things. I had to go uh, change my laundry. Okay? So it had nothing to do with um, me being on the floor. Uh, that was a different person on the floor. It wasn't me. So welcome to the halftime show. Here's all the things that I've been crocheting this month, or this week. I haven't made too many things this week. Uh, I've made a few things here, like just Basically, like, three things is what I've been making. The The main thing that I've been working on this week is working on that, um, the Frankenstein pattern and the zombie pattern. So, this is not, I, I have made this guy this week, but, uh, yeah. So, you can see we got this little zombie here. This pattern's coming out this week, very, very soon. And then the other one is Frankenstein, or zombie, or, no, yeah, Frankenstein. Here. I made another Frankenstein this week, too. I have, like, four Frankensteins around me right now just because I've been practicing the pattern over and over to make sure I get the color change chart right. Oh, yeah, I meant push-ups. I was doing push-ups and not laundry. I was doing push-ups for... Like, that's how I do my laundry is with push-ups, okay? Don't worry about it, Mel Bell. Uh, the other thing I've been working on this week is next month during November, I really want to do uh, some mushrooms. I, I want mushrooms to be like some of the live streams. So I've been practicing my fungaloid pattern. And you guys are going to love this guy. So I made this guy this week. Uh, and his little brother. So there's this guy and his little brother. I don't have a name for them yet. Actually, if you have any suggestions for names, let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah. So we're going to be making more more mushrooms next month. Uh, I think I want to come out with a free pattern for how to crochet mushrooms next month, but I'm not really sure just yet. Um, and yeah, so I made this guy. Look how perfect that mouth is, though. I'm so proud of the mouth. It lo he's just got that little like kawaii, like ooh face or whatever. And then his little friend in the back here. It's his little brother growing off of him. 
I love this pattern though. I'm really, really proud of this mushroom pattern. I actually have a few mushrooms I've been making. I made this week. So let me grab a few more because I just want to like practice the pattern a bit because it's really unique. So I made this one. I also made this mushroom. I can't find where the other mushroom is. It's somewhere over here. But I made this really tall mushroom and it's actually got a um, nail polish on the inside. It's actually glow in the dark nail polish so that it stands up on its own. But yeah, so I've been practicing that. And then I have one more mushroom I made. I just gotta find it. I don't know where I put it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Forgot I brought it over here. Here it is, another mushroom. This one kind of looks like a, like a, like a, uh, like something to jump on. So yeah, I've just been practicing the mushroom pattern a lot this week. It was fun to make. And then um, Spore is a great name. That's a good name for that mushroom guy. And then uh, another thing I've been working on is my cobalt pattern. So I have a few cobalts that I've been testing out. Um, this one, the, I don't have a name for her yet, but this is a little girl cobalt. And I and the cool thing about the cobalt pattern is that there's like it's like customizable, so you can add little horns in different locations. So this one's got little two little horns in the front right here. We got the two horns in the back, and I kind of want to use this pattern again. I uh, first off, I need to finish this pattern to come out with it publicly. Um, this is currently a rough draft pattern on the website, but also I kind of want to reuse this pattern for a little dragon. Um, Secret Life of Potato Eaters, say whose name again? Enoki, oh, and Morsel. I love those names, Melville. That is such a good idea for names. Enoki and Morsel. That's a great name. Um, uh, yeah, so this is a little cobalt that I've been, that, yeah, I'm trying to perfect this pattern a little bit before I uh, record it. Because it's kind of a tricky one. There's a lot of little tricks and schemes here. <coughs> Sorry. I'll drink some water. Um, yeah, so this is the cobalt pattern. Uh, and then the last thing that I made this week, if you are following Louis Loops on Instagram... Uh, you'll notice that I've started to use those Instagram Reels to make stuff. And I did an Instagram Reel for making a uh, a Yeti. A Yeti. I love this Yeti pattern. It's so cute. So I made this this week too. It's a crazy cool pattern. I'm actually really proud of this. I forgot how much I like this pattern. So we'll definitely have to crochet this either in um, December or in January during a live stream. We'll make a, we'll make a Yeti. But yeah, I, I put pipe cleaners in the arms so you can actually turn the arms. There we go. Okay. Uh, he's supposed to be holding a coffee cup too. But yeah, these are these are all the things that I have been making this week. This Yeti is actually, um, uh, I designed it based on, oh yeah, there's already a pattern for this one actually. Um, you can find it by just going to clubcrochet.com slash Yeti. Uh, this was actually a, a club crochet kit once too. Maybe I'll do it as a kit again. Um, but yeah, you can find the pattern there. It's pretty simple. It's it's I, I kind of based the design off of a show called Hilda and something. I don't know. It's a it's a show. It, the main title of the show is called Hilda. Yeah, and its name is Yancy the Yeti. And in that show, there's these giants. And they kind of resemble this a little bit. So I think I took some inspiration from that. It's not directly copied from it, but the, the inspiration was definitely from that. Um, yeah, I love this. I love this Yancy the Yeti. Oh, a brain. Elena, that'd be really fun. I should do a brain. So we'll put down, we'll put Yancy here in the, in the back. Or maybe let's put uh, we'll put Yancy over here, over here, and that is the halftime show. We'll get the mushrooms in the back there. Put this guy back here. We got we got Sven with his little coffee. 
No, he can't go there. We'll let him here. All right, and let's get back to crocheting. What do you say? We're gonna use this cobalt as a kickstand so that Sven can sit up straight. <laughs> All right, let's keep on crocheting on. Uh, next up, we've got our head. We need to crochet the head. Right, like this. Okay. This is our last of our black yarn. All right. Ellie. Oh, I should make a. I should make a. Um, a sugar skull. I that'd be cool. I should make a sugar skull. I've got a friend. Uh, named Jude. She owns a craft store here in the in San Francisco and she loves sugar skulls, so I should crochet her one. Oh, oh, that's who you want to know about who has a stingray pattern. Yeah, her name is um uh um Steffi, Steffi Glaves. Uh here I'll write it in the chat. Oh. I took the chat away by accident. How do I bring the chat up? Chat? Chat? Steffi Glaves. S-T-E-F-F-I and then G-L-A-V-E-S. If you look her up on Instagram, you'll probably find her there. She she crocheted one recently. She makes amazing crochet, though. She does a bunch of miniature crochet things. Um, she's got this really cool uh, skull, like, uh, applique pattern that's really neat. I think, it, I think you should check her out. It's good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Man, I caught up to him in the pattern. Oh, <laughs> I took like a 10 minute break and he still haven't caught up to me. Daniel Cookie got us. There we go. Thank you, Monty. Thank you, Monty. Um, all right, so next we are making a, the head. Head. I'll slow down for you, okay, Daniel? I just yeeted the chat off screen. Yes, I did. I went whoop. Um, so next Sunday, the reason I want to come out with this uh, Frankenstein pattern this week, I mean not Frankenstein, the zombie pattern this week, is because next Sunday I want to do the Frankenstein live stream. So that's what I'm thinking of doing for next week. So if you want to uh, join next week, we'll be making Frankie. Hello, Haley. How are you? I am doing a okay. You know, it is a beautiful day here in San Francisco. Yesterday was all mucky but today is beautiful. So I think I'm gonna probably go out for a walk after the live stream. I honestly haven't gone outside very much the past few weeks. And I, I just, I don't know. It's been, you know, I've been not wanting to go outside. But today is so nice, it'd be hard not to. So I think I'm gonna go out and read my book for a little bit. I'm reading a new book of short stories. I love short stories. Those are my favorite. Aquatic Luna asks, uh, have you decided what to make during the movie stream? So no, that's going to depend on what movie we're making or what movie we're watching. So if you want to help me decide on what movie to watch, um, you can by just going to uh, Club Crochet and logging in. And when you go to the website and log in and you scroll down, you can choose which movie to watch. Uh, I talked about the options earlier in the stream, but help me decide which movie, and whatever movie that we decide will base uh, will decide what pattern we make. So if we choose Hocus Pocus, I'll ma I'll be making a um, a probably making a witch. If we choose Coco, I'll probably be doing a oh dude. <laughs> if we choose Coco, we'll probably do a skull or or. Um, uh, maybe a zombie. You know, it'll depend on what movie we watch. Uh, 
Dude, DLH. I think your name is, I think it's Sam or it's Dan. I can't, I forget. Sam is someone, uh, someone and then Dan is someone else. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. Thank you for this pattern. She says, thank you for this pattern. I like it a lot. I appreciate you a bunch. Let's see, what are we gonna dance with? What are we gonna dance with? Let's do, um, I got a whole box of crocheted things. Let's choose one of them. Let's choose, uh, oh, here, this is for Dan. This is just for Dan. Or Sam. Sam. It is Dan. I knew it was Dan. Haha. <laughs> Sam is Sam is D and D maps. That's who Sam is. Okay. Thank you, Dad. Do dragons dance by flying? He's like Look how cool this freaking dragon is. It's so cool. This pat this is the one that I'm thinking for January. <laughs> Thanks, dude. All right, you rock. He'll be on screen just in the very, very back right there. Man, this this screen is filling with crocheted stuff. I gotta give me room, guys. Gosh, we'll pull this down a little bit like that. All right, back to crocheting with you. Yo, that dragon needs a dip. Here. Wait. There you go. <laughs> That's for Monty. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, I was right. It is Dan. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was just emailing with, with you earlier. Okay, so I got to keep crocheting here. We got two rounds of single crochets for the head. Oh, Bea. That's a great idea. So we actually have a Santa pattern. If you go to, uh, I think it's just, you know, clubcrochet.com slash Santa. Or you can search for it. But doing a chimney for Santa would be really fun. That's a great idea. That's a really good idea. Yes, yes, that dab aged like a fine wine. Um, Sunshine asks, are you coming, are you gonna put patterns out for sea creatures out soon? Yes, uh, we have some available right now. Um, you know, we got like the seahorse, uh, the anglerfish, uh, the, the octopus and the squid will be out uh, they're currently on rough drafts well the squid i need to still add to the rough drafts but the octopus is on rough drafts and i kind of actually need some more feedback on the octopus pattern because it's kind of tricky to make the mouth um so i need feedback for how i explain the mouth via text so if you're able to help out via um the the rough draft by just going to clubcrochet.com slash rough drafts. That would be very helpful because I just need feedback on that before I do the video. I just need to figure out the best way to explain that. Secret Life Potato Eaters, can I do some small food that are not meat? And I'm assuming not pies either because we already have the pies. Um, yeah, I can start working on that. Um, you know, I mean, there's just so many things I want to crochet. So many patterns, so little time. I'm going as quick as I can. See, this this month is mostly, the patterns mostly this month are going to be, um, I mean, we do have some new ones like the bat, hanging bat pattern, but a lot of the patterns this month are uh, me fixing up old patterns. So I'm gonna be fixing up the pumpkin pattern uh, and doing the, uh, adding the, the color charts to all the, um, the pod people, so yeah. This month is most mostly fixing stuff. Next month I'm gonna I'm going to be 
it's, it's going to be pigeons. The Church of Perch will be next month. The Church of the Perch. If you don't know, if you haven't joined the Church of Perch yet, Church of Perch is all about these guys. Huh? What's that over there? Huh? Huh? What's that over there? <laughs> you know the secret. You know. He's going to sit right on top of this Frankenstein's head. <laughs> Daniel asks, do I uh, intend on making anything large on a larger scale? I don't know. Maybe. Depends on the thing. I just like making minis personally a lot. Um, I think the largest scale crocheted thing currently that I'll have is like uh like this size this is this is probably the biggest i make and then i try to do it so that you can use just larger yarn to make it even bigger i should just do a um i should just start doing live streams where i crochet with larger yarn so you can see that like all these miniature patterns are really easy to make a lot bigger especially like this one i can make like like that, I could probably make, I could probably make that Yeti pattern like this big, like a little, like a, like a doll or something. Oop, I need to plug in my iPad so I can keep reading the chat. There we go. Oh my gosh, I need to make a pigeon pope. Pigeon Pope. All right. We have got... We've got our cat head pretty much halfway done there. I guess we could sew on stuff now, maybe? For like eyes and stuff. Uh, let's we can go a little bit further. Um, Kaylin, I don't know what that comment was. So, oh here, I had a great idea. You should make with all your passion. Oh, I think that's a great idea to make to make books. Yeah, I need to um, I need to figure out how to self-publish books so that you can like purchase um, uh, purchase books. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, Monty, you're incredible. Never change. Like that? <laughs> that was pretty good, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, we're de decreasing here. Um, how do you join the Church of the Perch? You join the Church of the Perch by um, crocheting a pigeon. Welcome to the Church of the Perch. May all your days be filled with breadcrumbs. Yeah, I got a, I got a good, uh, for, oh, <laughs> yes, Aquatic Luna's right. If you want a fast track into the Church of Perch, you have to, um, well, you don't have to, but it does help get your application along if you poop on a stranger. Um, yeah, and if they're, if they're in their car or on a bench at a park, that is bonus points. Um, yeah, so... I, my suggestion is you go, you climb a tree uh, near a bench, and then you just wait for strangers. You've got to be very quiet because obviously um, it's going to be a little bit harder for you to be quiet as you are not a pigeon yet. And you just poop on strangers. And then you get a fast track. Your, your application gets fast tracked so you can join the Church of Perch. All right. I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit. There we go. 
All right. Let's sew on. <laughs> Monty, you're freaking crazy. Um, we're going to add our eyes and stuff now. And per Mel Bell's request, we are going to be adding the eyes. Um, uh, to be two different colors. We're going to put one eye over here. Let's do one, two, three. That's fine. I like putting the eyes a little lower on the head than I would normally do. Like that. That's pretty cute. And then we do another one over here. Like right here. Is that too close together? Is that too far? I think it's too close. We need one more stitch apart. Let's go like right to here. And now I can complain about the backs of these eyes. So if you've seen my video on customizing safety B eyes and stuff, you'll know that I usually hate these plastic back of the eyes. So what I'm gonna do, cause they just hurt they hurt so bad to put onto the face. So I'm not gonna be using those, even though they came with those eyes. I'm just gonna use the plastic eyes, the plastics on uh, for these ones and hope that they fit. I'm gonna try it. I think, oh yeah, they're gonna fit. Yeah, come on. All right. There we go. Oh, that's so much easier. These ones just hurt. Oh, they hurt so bad. Ruined my day. They call me the pooping shadow. <laughs> where do I get those type of safety eyes? The the ones with the cat eyes? This is where I got these ones. From glasseyesonline.com. That's where I got them. But the backs are horrible. So maybe use a different kind of back for them. Maybe I should reach out to that company and start using those their eyes for different kits in the future. Ooh, that one hurt my nails a lot actually. Okay. But we got the eyes. I'm just gonna kinda turn them. Yeah, they need this this eye needs to be turned a little bit. That's pretty good. And then we add our ears. Is this an ear? No, that's a foot. Where's the ears? Here it is. Add our ears on the side of the head like that. Let's add a nose first though. We just need a little bit of our pink yarn for the nose. And our darn needle. Our ding dang darn needle. Yeah, it might be like a, yeah, 12, let's see. What was it? 12 millimeter? 10. They're 10 millimeter eyes. I like to do the nose just like a simple, just like that. Really, really simple for the nose. I think it's so cute to do that. I mean, you could make it more complicated by doing like a little, a little uh, um, perpendicular one, like just like a straight line down and the one line to the left and right. But I think just going left and right like that is really, really cute. So we're gonna stick with that. Yeah. I used to have a black cat. I love that black cat. He was super fluffy like Jimbo is. You're like a dollar store Batman. <laughs> You're not like a dollar store. <laughs> Gross. Monty's going around pooping on everybody. All right. I'm going to pull this nose out just a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. And next we can add on the ears. Mm. 
Where is the burb pattern? The burb pattern is currently on the rough drafts as well. It will be out probably next month. I need to uh, just put a little bit more effort into it. I'll go ahead and put that ear right here. Yes, 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 yes. What are you guys dressing up as for Halloween this year? Is anybody dressing up? I mean, I don't know if trick-or-treating is going to be much of a thing, but it might be kind of fun just to dress up at home. Last year, I was a mime. And Jules was... Uh, um, Jules was a hippie, and I was a mime. And we were peace and quiet. I thought it was kind of a cute idea. Yeah, this is looking good. Just, 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 just. I think I want the ear to be like slightly back like that. So I'm gonna sew it on, kind of like going around the backside. Let's see, let's see how this looks. How many more stitches do I have to add? Let's do some counting here. We got one, two, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. And then we got one, two. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just do it like that. And then we'll go down one more. His ears will kind of be more on the side of his head. That'll be kind of nice. The trick is going to be making sure that the other ear is sewn on the same way. That's going to be the real trick here. I mean, that's that's pretty good for the ear, though. I kind of wish I made it just a little bit closer to the eye, but it's not bad. It's not bad. So I haven't been checking the chat. You know how I am. Whenever I have to sew things on... I have a very difficult time reading the chat because it's difficult. It can be tough to sew things together. Ooh, you're going to be a female Geralt from Witcher? That is so cool. How do you like the show? The show was okay, right? I mean, it, was, it wasn't like amazing, but they're coming back with a season two. That's a great idea, though. I love it. Your dog is going to be Dobby the Elf. Oh, that's so cute. That's a great idea. I think I'm going to give... I think I'm going to just give Phoebe a, a witch hat and call her a little witch. I don't think she'll be able to hold on to it for very long. And then usually, oh, wait. <laughs> Mel Bell's comment is so good. That's so good. Um, usually for Halloween, I go as, uh, I, I take a, I have this giant um, like fan and I, and I attach it to my body using like a, cords i just like attach it to my body and then i wear a jacket over the thing so you can't see how it's attached to my body and then um and then i say that i'm a huge fan and i go up to kids and i go like oh my gosh are you spider-man wow i'm a huge fan and usually they don't get it <laughs> so it's the joke is for me 100 percent uh but that's usually how my jokes go anyhow they're usually always just for me. What does it mean when you laugh at your own jokes more than anybody else does? You're not funny? <laughs> I think that's what it means. You're not funny. Oh, Jimbo should dress up as a grasshopper. Yes, that is his name. His name is Jiminy Cricket. He is named Jiminy Cricket for a reason. He is my conscience. My conscience. 
and he always bites people, which is great because that's what I always want to do too. Yeah, I could just give him a little top hat and cane. Actually, that's a great idea. I think I'm going to do that. Obviously, I'll crochet him one. Obvi. Obvi. Oh, it's supposed to go further down. Okay, well, we can do that. Right? Is it? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Just talking to myself is all. Yes, I agree. I think these eyes, they are so pretty. They're so pretty. I wonder how they get them made. I was thinking of uh, wasting a bunch of money on a 3D printer. <laughs> I'm always thinking about buying a 3D printer. So that way I can make eyes and I can make a bunch of different kinds of eyes. You know, I could do like, I could do like Pokemon types of eyes. I could do like a like Bulbasaur eyes and stuff. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh my God, that'd be so cool. I don't have enough time for all the things that I want to do though. Okay, so let's do a count of my stitches before I screw this up. One, two, three, four. Let me go, oh wait, one, two, three. Five. Okay, I need five more spots. One, three, four, five. Or I could go one. No, no, let's stick with what we're doing. Let's stick with this. I could do a good where's Walder, Walder, Walder. Where's Walder? Hey, where's Walder? Jules and I have this inside joke. I don't know why I brought this up, but Jules and I have this inside joke where we just um, we just talk to each other like old men, and we just we just slowly become older. So we go like, huh, huh, eh, huh, eh. huh, what, huh, what? <laughs> it's very fun. <laughs> Very ridiculous. Hey, what? Who's it? Hey, Kaylin, how are you? Yeah, I think a 3D printer would also be a good investment, especially for like I could just do so many things with it, and then I could add like special kinds of eyes to my to the crochet kits, so that way, like you know. I, you, you know how I do with the crochet kits. I always like to add something special like magnets or, um, or pom poms or whatever. I always like to add something special for that. How, wait, Ellie asks, how do I attach all of it so well? The answer to your question is I count my stitches before I finish sewing it on. So I start I start by just like positioning it in this specific place and then I make sure that I count my stitches before I finish sewing it on. That's my system. That's my system. So for example, I'm going to sew this onto this like that, right? And I want to make sure that I have all my stitches accounted for. So there's one, two, three, four stitches to work with on this stem. So I need to find the four places that I want to put my stitches on this hat. Now I'm gonna, I want to make this slightly off center just because, well, maybe I don't actually, maybe I'll make it straight in the center. So what I do is there's, see how there's two ends here? This one's coming out straight out of the middle. I'm gonna take the middle one first, thread that in the needle, and that's gonna go to immediately in the center of whatever I'm gonna be crocheting it on. So, Currently, I'm going to make it go right in the center of my piece because I want to have it as centered as possible in this case. And now I have four stitches to work with. So I need to play, find the four spots on this. So we're going to go, let's say, one, two. We're just going to spread them out really far. One, two, three, four. So they're, they're just really spread around this one place. Just like that. And we'll see how it goes. Watch, watch me do terribly on this after I tie it. 
talk a bunch of talk. One, two. And I just try to keep track of the places that I marked in my brain area. Yeah, this is not bad. This ain't bad. Three, and then the fourth one, the last spot is where I started. See, so that's where I ver that's the very first one I did, and that's where I want to finish it up too. Like that, like, like, like that. There we go. And now we got a little a little stem on our pumpkin top. And then we could just sew this onto the head. First, we need to double knot these. Yes, I do. Uh, uh, Daniel, is Jules my partner? Yes, she is. My partner in crime. Okay, Ellie, we'll have a nice dinner. See you later, Skata. And we'll just put this to the side. Yeah, I, I do too, Divine divine Rose Knight. I agree. I get impatient. I go like, oh, I just want to have this sewn on already. That's why most of my patterns that I design, I try to do as little amount of sewing as possible. I want this to be, do we want it right on the top? Yeah, let's do it straight on the top, just like how we did the. So we're just going to go straight through the middle. See how I got the two ends? I'm going to start with the center end. I'm going to go straight through the center of the head. Whop. Like that. And then I want this part to be on the back so that it's as hidden as possible like that. Louie, do I buy you my yarn online or at a local shop? I can only get Lily Sugar. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I when when I need to get Lily Sugar and Cream specifically, um, I actually buy it online from the from the company. So I just get a bunch of yarn from wholesale uh, because I need to buy like a lot of yarn at once uh, for the kits. So I just get it wholesale. And I spend like hundreds and hundreds of dollars at once to buy yarn. One, two. And this this little pumpkin top, I don't want to sew on like I've been sewing these parts on because I want the edge of this pumpkin top. See how it's got like this edging on it? I kind of want that to be obvious so that it looks like he's actually wearing the pumpkin top. So I'm going to try not to sew it on like I normally do. Normally, I go around this. You know, I go like that around each of the outside stitches. But that'll sew it on in a so that it looks like it's sewn onto the head. And I don't want that. So instead, I'm going to go up through there and go down through the next stitch like that so that it keeps the edging where I want it to be. Does that make? I hope that makes sense. Sometimes I say things and I go like, well, that was confusing. <laughs> I said that in a confusing way. But you see how, see what I mean? Like the edging is still gonna be present because of how I'm sewing it on. And luckily for this pumpkin top thing, it should have the exact same amount of stitches as the round that I'm sewing it onto. that do I have a hard time uh, aquatic Luna asks do I have a hard time giving my crocheted items away my room is loaded with Amy Groomy because I can't part with them lots of Pokemon fuse y the answer to your question is absolutely yes 100% I do have a very difficult time giving my crocheted items away um, yeah, each one feels like important to me. I don't know why, cause I make so many, but like, you know, I don't know. Each one just feels important to me. I've got, hold on. I'll show you one second. I'll show you how many, 
I'll, sh I'll give you a general idea of how many crocheted things that I have around. Um, I give them to my mom a lot. Like, pretty much every time I visit her, I basically do a drop-off. I call it the mom tax. So I give her, like, half of the stuff that I make. But here is an example of how much crocheted stuff I have. I've got about... Ooh. I have about four or five of these bins just filled with crocheted items all around. I, pro I probably I probably have enough to fill another five of them because there's just crocheted stuff everywhere. Like, just, just everywhere I have crocheted stuff. But, yeah. I just got a lot, like, there's squids and here's Gulliver. Here's Santa Claus. Sandy, Sandy Claus. Here's Ash Ketchum. This was a very old one. This is one of the first things I crocheted as a pod person. You can tell because of his eyes. See how his eyes are um, made with bullion knots? At one point, I used bullion knots for all my eyes, like four or five years ago. And then I switched over to safety beads when I like the design a little bit more. But yeah, there's a lot. There's like, here's Catwoman. We got uh Oh this is a this is a um a, an angel from the show Doctor Who. Like the ones that you can't look away from. Yep. Wow. Gives you an idea how much I got. So I feel your pain though, is the the reason I brought all that up. Okay, so we got our pumpkin head all sewn together. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Yeah, I, I I need to just start giving them over, giving them away. I, I should start just doing more giveaways. All right, let's get back to the pattern. I am on round. If you're following with me, um, I'm on round nine of the head. I've sewn on all the the body parts, the the head and stuff. So we're just on round nine, decreasing down. Why would I make a weeping angel? Oh, I don't know. I was it was when I was really into Doctor Who. I haven't really watched Doctor Who recently. Um since the uh once once Matt uh what's his name? Matt Smith was a I uh, he was he was one of my favorites. My favorite is David Tennant. He's my favorite doctor. And then I like Matt Smith. And then I didn't really like the the old man. That was after Matt Smith. I just really wasn't into him, and so I kind of stopped watching after that. And now I want to rewatch because uh, the Lady Doctor is back, or is is now the person, and, and I kind of want to see how that goes. Okay, so now I need to do one more round of decreases, and then change to orange. <clears throat> Yeah, we need to decrease one more and then change to orange. Okay, and then I can stuff it a bit. Just the head. One, two, boop, bitty boo. There's two, three, Four. Sorry, this part's a little hard to sew together. I cannot see shape. Five. And last one is six right here. Before I finish that one, we want to grab our orange yarn because we need to switch to that. But I think we'll be done with the black yarn after this round, which is really nice. I always love that. Switch over to orange. Through. Ah! Oh, close call. Look at that. That was close. Almost accidentally pulled that orange out. There we go. Okay. And now we're on to the body. Let's just do one round of the body before I stuff. 
And we're just going with increases in each stitch. And we'll crochet around that. Okay. Now I can cut the black yarn. We're done with it. Get out of here. We don't need no, you no more. We don't need no more black yarn. I'll tell you that much right now. I'll tell you that much right now. Hi, Eve. How are you? Oh, yeah, totally. You're totally right, Crystal. Yes, the Sandcastle very much is like that Pokemon. I know exactly what you're talking about. Dude, Kim! Oh my god, thank you so much! Uh, yes, you did, unfortunately. So, Kim, you missed this month's kit. Uh, you're going to be getting... Once you're signed up, um, the, the monthly kits go out on October 1st. So, or on the first of each month. So, if you've already signed up, if you signed up after the first of the month, then you get whatever is the next month's kit. And next month's kit is pretty great. So you're not missing out on anything because next month we are making, you're gonna be able to decide, I think. I still need to figure it out exactly, but I'm pretty sure what I'm gonna do is you're going to be able to choose between making a pigeon or making a turkey. So I'm gonna send out an email to everybody uh, the last week of October and I'm going to be like, Hey, do you want to make a pigeon or do you want to make a turkey? And then you can decide. And obviously both options are really a little burb. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be the kit you signed up for is either a pigeon or a turkey. Here's what the pigeon looks like. This one's already pooping a little bit. So you're going to be able to decide between the two. If you want to sign up for a pro membership, sign up now and you'll get it next month. And your first month for a pro membership, you get a discount. So if you uh, sign up for a pro membership, you get a little bit of a discount for your first month. I think it's like $15 for the first month. Oh, dude, Eve, thank you. Thank you so much. And yeah, that's great. That's good to know, Kim. Yeah, November's is going to be good. I have a feeling more people are going to want the pigeon, but we will see. We will see. Whoa, look how weird this <laughs> looks right now. Uh, okay, so let's stuff his head up so he doesn't look so weird. Or she. What do you think? Is this a she or a he? What we need to name this we need to name this guy. We're gonna need to we're gonna need some name suggestions. We're gonna need some name suggestions. So if you got some ideas for names, maybe start adding them to <laughs> you love my excitement. I seriously it's my favorite. I have uh uh my friend Emilio came over yesterday to hang out and I was so excited. He was like, Wow, you're like really overly excited about these pigeons and I was like they're just so cute I love them Luna what a great name crystal um hey Melbell or Sarah could you uh uh just write down um some of the names and uh maybe we could do a little document thank you very much Melbell thank you hey also quick everybody everybody Thank you so much to Melbell and Sarah. You give them a give them a quick thank you. Uh, they are our moderators and they help out a whole whole bunch. You guys rock, and uh, I appreciate you very very much. Thank you. All right. I love the name Luna, and Chloe is such a great name. Mo, mo stuffing, mo problems. Gotta get that, gotta get that head stuffed up. I think I might give this to, give this cat to my landlord or something. I don't know. Yes, they are amazing. 
Moderators are incredible. We love you so much, Mel Bill and Sarah. You are the best. You are great. Oh, uh, I don't think I mentioned this in the chat yet, but if you would like to follow Club Crochet on Pinterest, uh, I just started a Pinterest for Club Crochet. Um, if you'd like to follow along with it, it's just at pinterest.com uh, slash club crochet. You find it there. All right. That's an, this is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute. So freaking cute. We're gonna curve that top a little bit. All right, so next we've got, um, oh, that's easy. Uh-oh, oh, <laughs> I sneezed. Ellie, how was dinner? I hope you had a good dinner. I wonder what I'm gonna eat for dinner. Hmm. I'm really bad at eating. <laughs> I always forget how to chew. It's like, do I do it like this? Is that how you chew? Or is it, do you mash it like this and then you put it into your mouth? I always forget how to chew. I'm so bad at eating. Uh, <laughs> Continuing crocheting on the body. Also, quick shout out to the original uh, designer of this Amy Groomy again. Her name is Anya Zoe. A N. Y A Z O E. Um, she's on all the social media stuff. You should check her out. She makes a lot of amigurumi. She recently made. Um, she loves making Disney characters. That's her. That's her thing. Um, and she recently made a. Um, the house from Up, and it is insane. Actually, insane. Like so well made. So, so well made. You should go check her out. She's a very talented crocheter. <laughs> Louis is alien confirmed. I am not alien. Hey, you guys want to know uh, the actual scariest movie ever? You just reminded me. The scariest movie, in my opinion, is the movie Signs. I hate it, and it scares me, and I hate it. And there is a scene in that movie where it's like the simplest scene, but it's like the scene at this, um, it's like a birthday party for some, uh, so like some kids in Mexico, I think. And this, they they look down a, an, an alleyway, and an alien just like walks by, and I still have nightmares from that movie. It is so scary. That movie's terrifying. Speaking of Alien, though, Jules and I just watched uh, the movie last night. It is dumb. I totally agree with you, Mel Bell. It's a dumb movie, and it's scary. But, though, you're wrong because it is scary, though. Uh... <laughs> just call me Augie said that he, he just started he just learned to crochet uh, the single crochet as opposed to the single chain and I all literally almost rage quit crocheting <laughs> it gets a lot easier my dude it gets a lot easier and do not rage quit I'm telling you it's so worth it when you get there um what was I say? Oh, oh, speaking of aliens, Jules and I just watched the movie Alien vs. Predator 2. <sighs> Guys, if you want to watch a truly terrible movie, like the worst movie I've ever seen, watch Alien vs. Predator 2. It's actually an insane movie. In that movie, 
the following things happen, okay? They, an alien in the first 10 minutes of the movie kills a little kid. Like a kid kid. It's like the first thing that dies is a child. And then later in the movie, they kill, uh, they kill a bunch of babies, like babies. And then they kill a pregnant woman. They shove a bunch of aliens into a pregnant woman's belly. And then a bunch of aliens come out and, and the pregnant woman dies. It's insane. And then, oh my God, it is just a crazy movie. It's, cr it's just, they like, you're watching it. You're like, why? What? Unnecessary, guys. It's like they just, it's the worst. It's the worst movie. It's just terrible. Um... Anyhow, that's my that's my spiel on the worst movie I've seen in a long, long time. Dab along seven. Exactly, Delaney. Agreed. Nope. <laughs> yes, welcome, Silver. Welcome to the live stream. Hey, uh, quick, if if I haven't mentioned it already a million times I'm gonna mention it again if you like this video please give it a like down below we have 155 likes which is pretty amazing I gotta say I wonder if we can get to 200 maybe maybe not who knows who even knows that that would be AVP resurrection the movie that I'm talking about that's terrible How many rounds of single crochet does Mashmo do? Five. Okay. Oh, that's right. So for this pattern, you have to like crochet it a little longer than you think because in the end you like squish it down to make all the little um, the pumpkin part of the cat. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I'm talking about. An imposter among us. Hello, welcome. I started playing Among Us. Uh, I I played it this earlier this week. It gives me a lot of anxiety, like crazy anxiety. <laughs> yeah, AVP Resurrection is a terrible movie. I suggest no one watches it or everyone watches it just so you can agree that it's really bad. Okay, so we need five rounds of single crochets? Yes. Yes. And then we can do the decreases and we can start adding the body parts. All right, we're, we're pretty close to being done, actually. Well, we're in the last leg. In the last bit of it. Oh, if you want truly bad killer tomatoes, I need to check that out. That would be a good one for Jules and I to watch because I've heard it's really bad. <laughs> Among Us. Uh, I have been crocheting for a very long time, so. And very consistently. I think the different, like, yes, I crochet. I've been crocheting a long time, but I've also been crocheting a lot during that time. I crochet every single day for hours. Okay, so now I need to um, decrease down. And then I can sew on the body parts. Have I ever? Yes, I have. Sunshine. Yes, one second. I'll show you. One, two. Okay, I think it's just a sharp decrease, too. Let me see. Oh, no, it's an invisible decrease. Check it out, sunshine. Boop. Too many crochet things on screen. So we got one. Is it just one? Yes, okay, my bad. One, then invisible degrees.
Oh, yeah, you know what, Anne? That happens. It's, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. Hate is gonna hate, and that's okay. That's okay. That's alright. I came up with another joke the other day. You want to hear it? What is a zombie's favorite weather? What's a zombie's favorite weather? A brainstorm. <laughs> the other night, Jules and I were up and she was like, she was like, tell me a joke. Come up with a brand new joke. And it took me like two minutes or three minutes of just like thinking. And she was like, come on, come on, just tell me a joke. And I was like, okay, okay, hold on, I'll think about it. Hold on. And I came up with that one. And I was so proud of it. I was so proud of that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you very much. All right, let's sew on some arms and legs and stuff. We're going to start by adding, uh, let's start by making the tail. Agreed, Dan. I am ready. I am, I am prepped. I got the dad jokes out the wazoo. All right, we need, uh, so what I did here is I take a pipe cleaner and I'm going to fold it in half like this. And then I'm just going to twist the pipe cleaner up. I'm going to leave about that much of the pipe cleaner untwisted so that I can add it to the body. And this is going to be so that we can make the tail like moldable so we can like kind of pose it in however we want it to be. <laughs> Sunshine, you know, I'll add I'll try to add the pattern for the fall guy to the rough draft pattern soon. Um it's not too tough of, of a pattern. The arms are the trickiest part. But yeah, I'll try to add it to the um, to the website very soon for you. Specifically to the rough drafts because it totally needs some uh, testing. Okay. Let's see. That might be too... I don't know. That might be too long. Let's see. Go. There we go. Get all the way up. There we go. Actually, I think we can go even higher up there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so we got the tail like that. And now see with these little ends here? We just put those ends in between two stitches the way I just had it. Like right here and here. And then on the inside, we can twist those two ends together. So we just grab them like that. We'll just twist it together and that'll kind of lock this pipe cleaner into place like that. And then I just like to fold the pipe cleaner out a little bit and it just kind of holds it in. There we go. And now I can just sew this little tail on. Did you crochet a baby Yoda? Yeah, it's right here actually, it's on screen. There you go. You can find it by just going to uh, clubcrochet.com slash baby Yoda and the pattern's free if you want to uh, crochet your own. Mr. Among Us. Um, Monty, yes, there's my email. Um, but that being said, uh, if you are testing out the pattern for the octopus or whatever pattern you may want to test out, um, add your comments on the rough draft. So if you go to the to the actual page where you can see that the rough draft pattern, uh, there will be like comments below. That's where I keep track of the comments for each of the patterns. Uh, and that would be the best thing for me is if you put your uh, feedback there. It's just easy, the easiest way for me to keep track of of feedback. And then what I do is before I uh, record the video tutorial, I go through those all those comments. I make any changes uh, to the written pattern, and then I test the pattern out one more time, uh, and then I do a video tutorial for it, and then put all, the whole thing together. It's it's you know it, it's a process, but 
Uh, I want to make it so that there's the least amount of... of or there, it's the best... I want to make sure that I can explain it best via text before I do the video because I can't... Um, once I do the video, you know, I can't really like edit it afterwards. So I want to make sure that it's all... That I have the right pattern before I do the video. And it would help a lot. You do need a membership account to test out my patterns. Um, but you can get a membership. You can try a membership for free. And see how, because I added that pipe cleaner in there, you can like kind of angle the tail however we want it to be. Okay, so we've got the tail on. Now we just need to add some arms and legs just to the sides like this. The, the arms, I like to add really high up. Like he's like, you know? You know what I mean, jelly beans? Oh, I am very sorry, my dude. Among Us, do, have I ever made a Halloween dog? Oh, we need to make a Halloween dog. That is a, we should do like this same, same pattern, but with a pup. That'd be cute. And I don't think it'd be that tricky either. Okay, so we got, this has four or five. Is that? We're gonna go right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we got one, two. And three. Okay, one, three, four. Hmm, okay. Oh yeah, that was perfect. We got the perfect sewing for this arm, I think. I could have put a pipe cleaner in the arm too to make these shapeable, but I didn't. So that's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Anybody who know what I was just quoting? I'll give you a hint. It's a Jim Carrey movie. And we'll put that right there. Like that. And then we do it like this. There we go. Ooh, a ghost dog. I like that. That's cute. I don't know if I'll have time for it this month, but maybe next year. Like, I just have so many different patterns I want to come out with this month. Okay, so we got one arm sewn on. And we could just double knot these. Nope, not Ace Ventura. It's from the movie... Um, uh, 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 Bruce Almighty. That was a Bruce Almighty quote. Scritchity scratch in my head. You know, this is how we know that we, that I'm part monkey. I should do that all the time. Yes, Mishi. Got it. Perfect. Good timing. Right before I said it there. Yeah, I just have so many, <clears throat> so many Halloween patterns. I like Halloween patterns, you know? They're fun to make. But it's just such a bummer because once Halloween's over, it's like no one's making those patterns for a whole nother year. What a bummer. Except for the zombie. Except for the zombie. Who don't like zombies?
Get this iron. Get this iron. Sold on. There we go. Huh. Hey. What? I'm not an alien. <laughs> I mean, what? I'm not an alien. Wah. Wah. That's my Wario impression. Wah. That goes right there in the body, just like that, right there. And now we got some arms. And he's like, hello, I'm a cat. Yes, I love the news reporting part of Bruce Almighty. Totally agreed. For Christmas, I can make an elf. Yes, I'd like to make an elf. I have tested, I've like tried elves in the past, but it would be fun to do a new elf. I just can't figure out like the perfect way to do it, you know? Okay, so next we need to add the legs and then we can I'm done here. Like this. Yeah. So the legs we want to be facing down. See how like one side's a little bit fatter than the other? So I want this side to be up like that. Instead of like that. I want it like that. It helps them sit up straight. And then also I want to line the legs up perfectly with the arms because there's gonna be stripes. So it'll help out a lot. that one to two just do like this to like this Go. All right, let's count the stitches now. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. One, two, three. Ah, uh, aha. Yep, I need to go down one more. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm going to sneeze again. It's this black yarn. It gets so, um, like. It's like fuzzy. All the all the fuzz gets up in the air. <laughs> Am I gonna stuff it? Absolutely. I won't. I probably won't stuff the legs. I don't think they really need stuffing. How many more do I have here? We got one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, that's easy. Ah, oh no, we went around that tail. Fixed. Thank you. Bless me again. I'm so blessed. So gazoon tighted. One, two, three, four. Me and Jimbo are so sneezy. That. You notice this whenever I'm sewing stuff together, that's when I get really sneezy because I pull the yarn and you can see it kind of on screen. See all that fuzz? If I roll it up in a one. No, actually I just wiped it off. It just gets so like, um, yeah, like lint. It's in the air. I can see it floating around too. 
I have been blessed by the Church of the Perch. Hi, someone. Perfect name. Hello, someone. <laughs> All right, one more sewing together, and then I can do my last round of single crochets, stuff them up, and then do the stripes of the pumpkin. <laughs> I can do an Among Us character. Maybe I'll work on one this week. Go down like that. Boom. I could probably do that. I mean, there's like so many patterns out right now, but it might be good. It might be a good timing. Plus, my brother, my brother is like obsessed with that game right now. So it'd be nice to crochet one just to give him. <laughs> okay, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, perfect. Perfect, even. <laughs> Hello, Nitty. Nid, Nid he? I think I'm saying your name right. I like your uh, thumbnail. A little, little chicken. So, again, that's. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Should I go out? Or sh yes, let's go out. Let's go out like that. All right. Where are we at here? We got one, two, three, one, two. Yep. Perfect, even. All right. There we go. Okay. So we got some legs sewn on. <laughs> like, ah! Uh, we need to stuff them a bunch. Oh, I'm sorry. How do you say your name? Can you, can you spell it out phonetically? So I can say it right? Oh, okay. Needy. Needy. Well, hello, Needy. A vampire? You want to see a vampire? I got a vampire for you. Oh, he's in the other room. Actually, Among Us, that's one of the... Yeah. Yeah, there's a vampire already. You can find it, actually, if you just go to clubcrochet.com slash vampire. That's the best way to find it. I'm also, I need to rework that color chart for that one too. I've already written it out. I just need to, uh, I might need to redo the video for it to include the, the color chart pattern. Yeah, there's a werewolf, a vampire, a, uh, Frankenstein, a witch, a zombie. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's all of them, no? Oh, a mummy uh, and a swamp monster. Those are the new ones this month. We're gonna be adding a mummy and a swamp monster. Here's what the mummy looks like. See, right here. And he's got, he, they're all little finger puppets. 
All right, just a couple more here. One and there's our second. All right, now this is the fun part. Cut that and we'll stuff them up first. Yes, and we have a castle. You know, um, I didn't even think about how good the castle is with the vampire. It's perfect together. <laughs> Just so many. Yeah, there's so many new Halloween. Well, not new. Newish Halloween patterns. Okay, that's probably good for the stuffing. Now I just need to do it so that he looks like he's in a pumpkin, actually. So first, let's sew it closed, and you'll see. And we're coming to the end here. So as I'm finishing this guy up, I do want to tell you guys, hey, hey, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for joining me during this Sunday's. I appreciate you guys so much. You have no idea. You make my Sunday so much more fun. It's it's just great. I mean, I'm going to be crocheting Sundays regardless, but it's a lot more fun to do with some friends. So thanks for joining me on our Sundays while we crochet. If, um, if you want to join us next Sunday, we'll be making uh, Frankenstein and maybe some other... Halloween stuff. I'm not completely sure just yet, but definitely going to be doing Frankenstein. I still got a few more minutes of crocheting here, so I'm not out right away because I forgot to add it. I have to add a little bow tie for him. Okay, so we need some more orange yarn, just a little bit more, like that much. The mummy's not out yet. The mummy uh, crystal, the mummy pattern is coming out soon. I still need to finish uh, the video and stuff for the mummy. So he's coming out very soon though. Okay, so here's what you do for this part. You go down through like right here. We're gonna go up, let's say up through like right. We're gonna do six of them. Right through the neck, just like that one. And then you go back down. Come up to the next one right here. Like that. And then we go two. We go up to the next one right here. And we can already start pulling them, pulling these a little tighter. See, because as you pull it tight, you see how it makes it into more of like a pumpkin-y shape? And this one will come down to right there. You just gotta try to make sure you don't accidentally break the yarn. That's what that's always the worry. Breaking the yarn. Dude, Type 1 Rose, thanks for watching the whole thing. You rock. You rock. All right, it looks like we just got one little bit more. We just go out through here. We'll pull this one tight. That one tight. See how it like, kind of squishes the body down like that? <laughs> it's kind of silly. Let me go up down to that, and then we'll go all the way back down. where we started pull that tight pull that tight chubby pumpkin cat chubby pumpkin cat yeah that's a little theme song i've been working on oh and keep a lookout this week i'm going to be coming out with a new a video of a finger puppet show where i use uh, all those little crocheted finger puppets i think you guys will like it think you'll like it. I need to edit that a little bit more today. Originally came out on Louis Loops like a few years ago, but I think it's time to re-release it on Club Crochet now. 
All right, and then the last thing I want to do is I want to add his uh, like a little little bow on his neck, which is pretty easy. All we got to do for that is untangle yarn. There we go. You just need like that much. I like using beige for this. You can use whatever color you want, but I like using beige. Green might be good too. And then all you gotta do is we just go like, we'll just go like that. And we'll just do a little knot. I'm just gonna do a little bow. So like this, go around it. Tying a shoe. Yeah, we'll leave it like really long like this. No, I'm just kidding. That's not what we want to do. We want to tie it. We want to make it a little smaller like that. Like that. Oh, dude, Mishi. Dude, thank you so much. Good. What a perfect timing. Oh my gosh, Mishi, you rock. Thank you so, so much. We'll have this cat do a little dance for you. Perfect timing, my dude. Thank you. And if, yeah, if you want a super chat, if anybody else wants to, wants to jump on the bandwagon, it's now or never. And see, look, you can like bend the tail like this because it's got the pipe cleaner in it. Ba, ba, thank you, Mishi. Oh my gosh, you're so nice. I really appreciate you. Thank you, Mishi. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. And everybody, thank you so much for watching and joining the live stream. I will see you guys next Sunday. Misha, you're the best. Thank you so much. I'll see you next Sunday where we'll be crocheting one of these guys using the brand new color change chart that is um, very awesome. It's the coolest new thing that I've made. Uh, and I think you're really going to like the color change chart. Thank you again, Mishi. I appreciate you very much. Thank you. And thank you to everybody who has joined this live stream, who has watched the whole thing. Kim, round two, sandwiching it. Oh, man. Kim starts with the five. She ends with the five. Boom. Thank you, Kim. Oh, my gosh. You're the best. You guys are all the best. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Um, here, we'll have this guy do a little dance for Kim. Hey, Kim, thank you, Kim. Hey, Kim, thank you, Kim. Hey, Kim, thank you, Kim. <laughs> and yes, thank you to our moderators. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop procrastinating. I'm going to go. I'm going to go for a walk on the beach. I'll see you guys next Sunday. <laughs> Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. Keep an eye out this week. I think you're really going to like the new video that I'm coming out with uh, and the new pattern I'm coming out with. Right back at you, Kim. Right back at you. Okay. We'll have this kitty say bye. Bye. Look, I love the eyes. Great choice, Mel. That was a good move to make them two different colors. That was a good, that was a good idea. All right, guys. Pasta, la pizza, and happy hooking. I'm gonna do it like this, and I go like this. Bye. Wait, okay. this is this one? Yeah, this one. Hi. Bye, everybody. <laughs>